and said, don't exploit our children for monetary gain like he did with me. So now she is claiming she was exploited. Like I said already, at least Jamie started his channel with another kind of content. He was doing uh, cars and stuff like that. Nikki is the one that started a channel based on pregnancy and children and babies, you know, and babies and stuff like that. The same thing with her Instagram, you know, with the same thing with her Instagram. She now claiming that she was exploited. Let's not forget that the car she drives till today came from this content and their channel blowing up because of the pregnancy and the babies that she was, uh, babies that they were posting. So how can she claim to be exploited when she, how can she claim to be exploited when she benefited fully from the content that we created from uh, by using those children okay he claimed i was vengeful but after i left he stole the channel and uh, uh, changed the password he cannot steal what belongs to him the channel was jamie's channel long before he got married I'd started this channel years before Nikki and I even started dating and I would post my music on it. I would post uh, videos of my S2000 on it. Um, it was just something that I did for fun. Go and watch the oldest video. Nikki is the one that ended up having a channel because she was pregnant. That was when she created a channel. That way people say, hey, Jamie does not want to work. He wants to use family. Jamie was already creating content before he met, he, he met uh, Nikki, before he started dating her. It's just a progression of his life. I remember when he said that, you know, my this is my channel before I got engaged, before I got married. When I got engaged, I showed it. And then when I got married, I showed it. When my when I became pregnant, I showed it. When I got divorced, I talked, I, 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 it's here. When, when uh, now I'm now a single father, it's only a progression of my life. It made sense, right? Now, but Nikki is the one that started when she became pregnant. So if you want to talk about exploitation, right okay now the channel already belonged to jamie so how can she say he stole it it was his channel you can't steal what belongs to you the other guy um justin justin justin's ex had a, a, a page before she met him and then he came into the picture it the whole progression of their life then stayed in her on her page or her platform when they broke up what happened? The woman kept her page because it was hers. But, and the man went and started managing his own page. You know what is even interesting? The stories are actually similar in this situation. So imagine, let's be honest. Imagine Justin. If you don't know, you don't have to know him, but I'm just saying there's a guy called Justin, right? Imagine Justin tried to tell his ex-wife, uh, you stole the, the, the page. Or the, no, the page belonged to the ex-wife. The page belongs to Jamie. And the marriage ended. He kept his page. And Nikki kept hers. That's the only page Jamie has. So she should, he should have handed it over to. Of course not. The same way Justin should not expect uh, his ex to have, uh, to have uh, handed the channel to him. Or share it with him after divorce. The same way Nikki shouldn't have been expecting Jamie to share the channel with her. Or even hand it over to her. He didn't steal the ch page. The page is his. Um, change password to the, to the business email. As long as they're all linked. It's just like, uh, um, J, um, what's his name? Uh, Justin trying to say, uh, my ex kept the email, the business email. The page is not his. Once he's gone out of the woman's life, he has to face his direction. So whatever business email belongs with that page. So everything that belongs to the page that is with the page goes with the page. Let's speak the truth now. So I couldn't work with past clients. Uh, if those clients want her, they know where to find her. The thing is, everything, the business email and business goes with the page. And he said, um, and change our bank details on AdSense. He said that she told him to remove every video she, he, she was in. So now the marriage is broken. He kept his page. Of course, he's going to change. I mean, he's going to be doing the page alone without her. And still allow her to collect money from the page he's doing by himself. Uh -uh and change uh, our bank details to, uh, on adsense um that is the, the money that comes in through youtube the account it goes into right so as uh, so the revenue for our past vlogs went to his personal account and then he said he kept the vlogs for himself of course it's going to stay on the page right leaving me with zero memories of our children okay memories of your children are actually on instagram and some other areas but i believe that jamie all these accusations i don't know if it's true or not, but i'm saying that you know, 
before she asked him to take down her content, she should have actually downloaded all the videos she wanted to download. Um, it's a lot of videos, but I think Jamie, he can make those videos public. Give her time to download all the videos she wants to download. Because if you say, give them to her, it may be hard. Or find a hard drive. Find a, a big storage. Store everything into uh, whatever and give them to her. Because let me tell you, memory that you guys keep, it belongs to those children. It is important to pass them on, right? If that is true, Jamie, give her the video of the children. It's important, right? He said, I requested... <clears throat> Oh, sorry. If you go down, I requested my birth, uh, my full birth videos, but he kept them from me for three and a half years. So it's possible he has given them now. Because she said for three and a half years, it means that for a while, but she has received it. So maybe she has already received them now. He used this as a leverage so that I changed my stance on him making content with the girls. A part of the reason I vlogged was, okay, listen now. You see contradiction. Part of the reason I vlogged was to have a memory diary of our babies as they grew but he kept this from me so now she has now said that the reason she part of the reasons she vlogged so people that are now saying jamie was posting the family to exploit them nikki have said that part of the reason she vlogged jamie have said that the vlogging was not his idea he gave it or gave all the credit to her that it is her own idea and then he was thinking, okay, it's going to end up being the work she does. And he could continue the work he does. That she can do the filming and editing and uploading. But she didn't want to do all the editing and everything. So leaving him to have to do the whole thing alone. It was just something that I did for fun. Um, but then the proposal video went viral and it, it sort of turned into something else. And Nikki loved watching vlogs. I didn't really see the, the point of vlogs, to be honest, in the beginning. But she was passionate about it and uh, I saw the potential in it. So I would build and build and build in the hopes that eventually she would take over because that was the original plan that she was going to take over. It's what she wanted to do. She wanted me to teach her how to edit and film and things like that. And it did continue to take over. But um, for the most part, I was I was doing all the, the work side and, you know, I was networking behind the scenes and um I, w I was building and just hoping that eventually she would take over um or get a job of, of some sort and i was working seven days a week i had so many different jobs i had you know i worked uh in retail uh part-time i was interning uh as a videographer trying to learn how to you know be a videographer and start my own business. But a lot of the jobs that I was doing, I wasn't getting paid for, or I was getting paid very minimal. So that wasn't paying a lot. I was picking up jobs with my dad uh, on building sites when they would come up, uh, just laboring. And then I was uh, doing this YouTube thing. He wanted to continue what he was doing there. And he was saying that if he could do, do both of them can work together so that, you know, basically both of them can enjoy having the children as a uh, what's it called parenting not that only him carrying the whole load that eventually she didn't want to do any of that she didn't want to play any part of the editing or any of that area and you know why it's believable is that over the years people have always said that nikki looks like someone that people were always talking about like on her platform that she's not quick to post she's not always quick to post she's like you know i don't want to go to some negative because then i'm going giving some negative but i don't really like that kind of negativity but there's some people that have said that they don't see drive in her Right? There's so much she could achieve, but they don't see the drive in her. Like, people are waiting on, she will say, I'm going to do this makeup, whatever. People are like, oh, how did you do this makeup? She was, and she's promised, and she will take forever, and it never happens. People have always spoken about that. And then it makes what Jamie say sound as truth. Because he says she doesn't want to do any of the work. So it looks like she likes the idea of posting family content, but she doesn't want the work aspect. She likes it being out there. The video there, available for people to watch, but she doesn't want to do the work behind it. Right? Then she said, part of the reason I vlog, now she has said it that she, there's a reason why she vlogged. So those are not saying that it was Jamie's idea. No. That has proven Jamie to be telling the truth. Right? For my babies as they grew. So now she now called it exploitation. But she had a reason for vlogging. Right? Okay. She said, but uh, let me tell you guys. Let me tell you guys. If you really want to create content for your children, for the future, for memory. You can always make videos in your... Everybody have home videos that they keep in their homes. If you post it, it's for money. 
So what are, what are we saying about exploitation? If you say you want to keep memory for your children, it does not have to be on YouTube for it to be memory. You can make videos and store in a hard drive. Do you know that this YouTube, let me actually tell those that may not know. Do you know you can actually post video on YouTube and keep them private for life? Or you can create YouTube and have only people you give access to those content. So if it was not about exploitation, as we call it exploitation, let's maintain the energy of exploitation to use the children to make money, right? She, you could have filmed, the videos can be filmed and kept private. We don't need to see it. Part of the reason I vlog was for, but he kept all of this uh, from me. So Jamie, if it's true, you're keeping, give them. It's for the children. Don't forget, everybody will live oh, this world. We're all on the way out. Oh. We're only praying for long life. When you guys go, the memory you start will be take, handed over to the children. So you, what if you lost it? What if your house got burnt or something happened and you lost whatever? They have spares with their mother. So it's important, right? Okay. Um, I even asked for footage of my sister, Sarah. He had all the hard drive and he told me they were destroyed. Okay, Jamie, if you have and you're not destroyed, it is wrong. That is her sister. Give her the videos, right? Okay, let's go. Um, like I'm saying, if it's true, don't say you got, don't come and say, uh, how are you sure she's telling the truth? I have not said she's telling the truth. I'm just saying if it's true. Now, another one, please keep me, <clears throat> please keep in mind, my sister isn't alive anymore. And they were the only videos of her I had to uh, to look back and remember her. Um, he knew our children and my sister are very sensitive spot for me. So he, so he would use these two things to control me. I'm going to be honest. When I look at that video and the way she acted, she didn't look like a woman that was being controlled. This, my opinion, okay? This is not fact or what? This is my opinion. That the way she spoke, she didn't speak like that was her first time speaking like that. She didn't speak. And the way she apologized for hitting him, it shows how, uh, the power, my own opinion, it shows that she had, do you know how many women that their husbands abuse? Okay, let me let me let me go there. Let me leave that. Okay, Jamie's health issues never stopped him from partying with friends. Jamie never said that working affected his health. He said too much of work is what affects his health. There are two different things. I saw in one in which he was telling her that you know let's 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 uh, something something about you know let's enjoy our lives or stuff like that. So here it is. He says don't uh, don't understand it. You have so many options, yet or you don't take any of them. And it's not just all in my head. People constantly ask me why you are not working, why you don't start your own business, because they see it too. These opportunities um, won't be around forever. And if you really don't want to do it, the least you could do is find some other kind of side job to help contribute more with your free time so that we can have kids and buy a house and all the stuff in life people need to, uh, people need to do quicker. And then he says, I miss us having more time to have fun. I love you. And he says, um, you shouldn't be satisfied watching how hard I work for us and not feeling like you want to help right now um, as well as in the future. Because the reality is, had I not been working as hard as I have been this last year and a half, we wouldn't have our rent paid. I just don't understand how you don't see how unfair that that is. Um, and how you always make me into the bad guy, especially when you bring up that I don't have time for you or do things for you. I wish I had more time for us, but I need your help to get there. You see the ending part about like if he's working, like he said, seven days a week, he's not going to have time for her and he's not going to have time for family. And look at here, we said, I miss us having more time to have fun. So for a man to work so much to the point where the time, quality time of like even going out and doing other fun things became impossible. This is what I was trying to say that marriage, there should be a balance to make sure that the work life balance is at a good point. Because if a husband is working, working, working so much, he's not going to be present father. He's not going to be a present husband. And you know, and there's nothing wrong in a man saying, you work and I work and let's work together to make sure that it works. I believed that eventually she would go back to work and it wouldn't always be like this. And I was working seven days a week. I had so many different jobs. I had, you know, I worked uh, in retail uh, part time. I was interning uh, as a videographer, trying to learn how to, you know, 
be a videographer and start my own business. But a lot of the jobs that I was doing, I wasn't getting paid for or I was getting paid very minimal. So that wasn't paying a lot. I was picking up jobs with my dad uh, on building sites when they would come up, uh, just laboring. And then I was uh, doing this YouTube thing, like the YouTube videos. This guy wanted a work-life balance. He didn't have it. And that is what any doctor would recommend. He didn't say, I want to sit at home. I want No, he wanted a work uh, um, what's it called? Uh, a work life balance whereby the work is not more than living. So he's saying, if he say he works too much and then he goes to party with his friends, that is what life. Let me tell you guys, oh, this life that we are taking too seriously is very short. If you don't enjoy it now, some people say, I prefer to just stay at home and be chilling. You cannot come to this life and sit at home from the day you were born to the day you died. And then life is over. What have you done with it? I am one of those people that I can be in my house for six months. It will not, I, I will not feel like going outside. But I'm learning. Life is to be lived. You don't live a life by just stuck indoors. This world that we came into, why don't you see it before you leave? You understand? It's like going on holidays and go and sit in the holiday accommodation 24-7. You want to go out and explore. Go and see the the beautiful sights of the place go and see the best restaurant go and, see, and enjoy so people have come to this life and they have not enjoyed this life they stay inside house and audrey audrey take away they don't do anything and seeing life only through youtube and through whatever go out and see life out there if he is decides that he wants to party party is good for your mental health so he's saying jamie's health issues never stopped him from partying party is it is a necessity it is good for you. You wonder why they say Nigeria, they say capital, poverty capital of the world. But Nigerians are the, are the hap happiest people in the world. It is not money that made them happy. It is the community life. You know what we do? It's like Yoruba people. Hmm. There is party for everything. When, hey, now is, <laughs> in Nigeria, naming ceremony, uh, um, what is it called? Birthdays is another one. Uh, um, Anniversary for this and anniversary for that. Now, it's Nigeria that you will see that they will do a birthday party. And they will do another party to celebrate a successful birthday. <laughs> All this party, going for birthday. It's Nigeria. You see, abroad, they will do burial. And they will just go. Everybody is in black. Everybody will be walking like this. Nigeria will do. And they will do party. People will dance. People will eat. And people will celebrate the life of the person that ended. It is the, Those things is important. So if Jimmy decides to be partying, Sometimes it is important. It is important to distress. That if that is his way of distressing, it is good for his health. So saying that Jamie's health issues, because people have been saying the same thing in the comment section, Jamie's health issues never stopped him from partying with friends. You know, son, you know, it shouldn't stop him. That is actually what is good for him, right? Never stopped him from uh, taking trips overseas. The same people, there was a video where they were discussing and she said it. Jamie used to be afraid of flying. It was after she met Nikki. That Nikki gave him confidence. He used to be afraid of, I think maybe, you know, the fear of flying. So people are afraid of plane crash. That he began to learn to fly. Right? Okay. Then we watch that video. How often did Jamie leave that country? The only time we know they left the country was when they went to, they did this YouTube, took them different tours. They went to see the Pope and different things. Let's not forget. I think Jamie's mother went with them. Oh. She was one minding the baby. That woman, eh, that woman does not deserve what some of the things that I'm seeing. You know, all these white mothers. This woman was, let's be honest, watch that videos. How often did you see Nikki's mother come to help with the baby? Because the woman is busy. Nikki's mother is busy. Jamie's mother was the one that has been there for them. She has been there for this uh, couple. Okay, uh, what was it called? Uh, trips overseas. How many times did Jamie travel overseas when we watch the videos? Let's be honest. How many times did we see him fly abroad? Apart from flying within the country for whatever work he was doing. So what is all this? Trips overseas. That's why it would be nice if those videos are put back. So people can actually go and cross check and see where the truth lies. Okay. Um, never stop him from taking trips overseas. Why I looked after our children. People have been spreading this narrative. You know. And, uh, and the same guy have said that he would rather whereby both of them work. And he can look after the children sometimes. And she can do it sometimes. And he has proved it that he's able. When this guy has been able to do their hair. So men can't. So men are still, he went and watched videos and learned how to do it. And he does a good job of it. Okay. Okay. 
now and um, and that proves the proof that proves the fact that what he's saying that he would love to be able to be at home and mind these children he actually has shown he has proved it by making sure they're well dressed and doing their hair and everything when i asked for assistance uh, he would throw it in my face that i was the one who wanted kids i'm thinking you see what i'm saying i'm thinking that when she said okay you do the editing i will do the home staying he may have said no nee, because this is all accusation okay since you say you want to be the one to oh my god my battery is my battery is dying you know okay so you she said that's your work okay you do your work and then let me do mine it's possible that's what happened because he said he would have had it he would have preferred the other way around oh my goodness is that the last slide oh ah Ah, that's not the last slide. Oh my goodness, it's too long. Okay, um, okay, 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 let's go. Uh, when I asked for assistance, da, 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 so I find it interesting that he claims he's so too sick to work a regular job. He has never said he's too sick to work a regular, a regular job. He said he cannot overwork. Some people can. I'm a nurse, for example. Some nurse, nurses, they take um, uh, overtime and they do extra, extra. Somebody like me would only do my shift and I don't take extras. So he said that he doesn't want to overwork uh, to get a regular job. And that's not what he said. In his video, he said that at the moment, because he has them once a week, uh, one week on, one week off, he cannot take a regular job because when he has them one week off, he has to do school runs. Why is Nikki not do regular job then? Let's be honest. Why is what is good for him not good? You understand what is good for him? He now said that when he has them full for the week to do school runs, and pick them up, and I think it's different times, would be difficult if he does, if he's doing a full-time job. That's why he's doing a job that allows him to be able to be available for all those requirements. And he doesn't want to like, it's a choice. He doesn't want to go to work and come back at the end of the day and already gone to bed. For the week he has them, he's only coming home at, at night when they're already going to bed. He doesn't get to spend time with them. He can choose to do that. Nikki herself does not do full-time job as well, right? Okay, so people think bonding is only something mothers can do. Fathers can choose that I want to bond. How long is this life? He's already 40 before you know he's 60. And he chooses to enjoy every single day with his children that he has them, which is only twice, uh, two, uh, two weeks in a month. There's nothing wrong with him trying to make sure he works around the children rather than the other way around. I find it interesting. Okay. I I even gave him ideas on what he could film. I told him he could make videos editing content as his great um, editor or work a traditional job. I saw people say, Jamie cannot be telling Nikki what to do. <clears throat> what to do. But Nick, Jamie as well suggested what Nikki should be doing. But Nikki did not want to do what he suggested. So it's a bit vis a vis, vice versa. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I'm not limiting his capacity to earn. I simply put my foot down and said, don't exploit our children. I've talked about exploitation. Both of them, if you want to call it exploitation, both of them did it. Uh, I'm sorry I'm talking so fast, but it's getting way too long. He said, <clears throat> my foot down and said, don't exploit our children uh, for monetary gain like he did with me. So now she is claiming she was exploited. Now, when she has said that the reason she wanted to vlog is because of, you understand, now she's calling it exploitation. Her own Instagram, let's not forget, exploitation. She that filmed the child, even while the child was still in the stomach. Like I said already, at least Jamie started his channel with another kind of content. He was doing uh, cars and stuff like that. Nikki is the one that started a channel based on pregnancy and children and babies, you know, and babies and stuff like that. The same thing with her Instagram, you know, with the same thing with her Instagram. She now claiming that she was exploited. Let's not forget that the car she drives till today came from this content and their channel blowing up because of the pregnancy and the babies that she was, uh, babies that they were posting. So how can she claim to be exploited when she, how can she claim to be exploited when she benefited fully from the content that we created from uh, by using those children there are two different people but the fact remains that she and jamie started when she was at a different point in her life and she's at a point now where women have to be careful even men too but like you have to be careful because you don't know you know the person that you're with now is it because of where you are now in life would that person have spoken to you where you were before? Jamie was in her life where she was before. So the difference between a man that met you when you were um, not anybody yet, how do I put it? The difference between the man that met you at the beginning and uh, let's say believed in you and followed you in the journey to where you became what you became. And the difference between that man and the man that met you at the top is that it can be difficult to know if he really loves you for you or he loves you for who you have become. It's different from the man that 
loved you when you had not become what you have become. 